New at six, a Citrus County hometown girl disappears for a month only to reappear with devastating news. Kelly Johansson came home with a shaved head. She told her friends and family she had cancer and was dying, but it turns out that wasn't the truth. Deputies say Johansson faked her diagnosis, and as a community rallied around her, the money they raised wasn't going to her treatments. As Fox 13's Kimberly Quezon reports, it's left those who helped her questioning how she could lie. As news spread that Kelly Johannesson had stage four breast cancer, the town of Hernando rallied for her. We know a lot of people in our club that do have certain different kinds of cancers and they're beating it and they're fighting it. So it's, you know, it kind of hits home. That included the Citrus County Airboat Alliance. They helped volunteer and raised hundreds of dollars for her doctor's bills and expenses during a large fundraiser. She was happy, everybody was, it was going on. But behind the smiles and hugs, Citrus deputies say Johannesson was living a lie. It's a shame that this turned out to be something that wasn't good. After receiving a complaint in September, deputies took a closer look at Johannesson. They found out she had lied about her diagnosis and didn't have cancer. There's a lot of people in the world that'll do a lot of different things. Investigators say a GoFundMe page for the 36-year-old raised at least $4,400. They still haven't been able to tally how much others raised. Everybody was there was a 100% support for it. Airboat Alliance board member Joe Springer says it's hurt their small town. I just thought it was pretty rotten for someone to do what they did and take the trust of all the people and just throw it away. Johannesson looks much different than a few months ago. Her hair has grown back and she remains in the Citrus County Jail, charged with fraud as her hometown continues to question why. It took money away from people that could have really used it. In Hernando, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Johannesson is being held with no bond at the Citrus County Jail. Detectives believe there are many more victims who donated to her. If you are one of them, detectives want to hear from you.